In this episode of Diary of a Puzzle Gamer, we'll look at Teapot Collection, a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle by Oodles Puzzles. I think they're a new company, I don't, they're not <laughs> represented a lot online, but this is the second puzzle by them that I solved after the one about the decorative eggs, and I like that one very much, and I like this one also. The production values of these puzzles are very good, very, very nice. And here first let's start with a general look at the puzzle itself after it's completed. Yes, it's a tipper collection alright, no surprises there, nothing misleading in the title. So as you can imagine that means that you're gonna have basically a collection of mini puzzles. It's very easy to sort the bodies, the main bodies of these teapots by color, by pattern. You have a lot of different colors and patterns from that yellow there to this white and red, the thing that is unclear to me if it's a corn or a pineapple. This nice beige here. So you have a lot of different colors, so it shouldn't be too hard to be able to separate most of the bodies. And then of course you have the, the other parts, and that's when the puzzle becomes a little trickier. So it's very interesting because it's almost a comedy in multiple acts. First, probably you will want to do the edge. Then, if you're like me, you're gonna do the main body of the teapots that are easier to identify and you place them where they are and then you start going then for the bodies of the ones that are maybe less easy to identify. This one for example is dark enough that some of the edges are basically the same color as some parts of the background, so that's a little trickier. And once you have the teapots then <laughs> you do the parts of the background that have small fractions of the teapots and that's a little trickier because some handles may fit in different positions, may fit in different locations and finally you finish with the background. Well I said that in the second person as <laughs> sort of like a suggestion but basically it is a diary of how I solved it. That's how I went about it and I really really enjoyed it. I enjoyed every minute of it because every Every moment has its own little challenges and its own little rewards. Again, it's not particularly hard at all. It could even be maybe for a beginner's puzzler who has a little bit of patience. The difficulty ramps up a little bit towards the end when you're left with uh, not the neutral, the neutral background, but I would say the background with little bits of the teapots here and there. That's probably the hardest part. When you're left with truly only the background, with pieces that only show the background, then as you can see, looking just at the background, it's a bit of a gradient because you can tell quite easily where they fit since the central area is considerably lighter than the edges. So really nice puzzle, not particularly hard, except production values, very good. The fit, look at this, look at this, it's a really, really good fit. So the pieces will connect well, they will stay connected if we prepare the body of a teapot on a separate uh, puzzle holder like I have there then you can easily transfer fairly large sections without them falling apart the pieces are nice and thick nice and thick and so very pleasant, very pleasant to manipulate and to play with. So very pleased with this puzzle here, Teapot Collection. Not particularly hard, something maybe you can do with a younger puzzler, again maybe this is your first 1000 piece puzzle, I think it would be appropriate. Not hard, not challenging, not particularly challenging, it's, it's a fairly easy puzzle with some challenging moments, but overall nothing too hard. And in general, very pleasant, and I think, and I also find the, the overall image, the resulting image, very pleasant and very fun also. Eh, and just, honestly, this guy only. He looks so happy, like, hey, I'm a teapot, and I'm, I'm a happy teapot. Just a lot of fun little details that you'll pick up when you look at some of the scenes or some of the patterns. So in general, very fun image and very enjoyable puzzle.